Alchemy is the profession of potion making. Potions can be used to accelerate healing, increase speed, enhance attacks, and more. You can also use your cauldron to make certain dyes. Before you can make a potion, you will need its recipe. During the tutorial process, you'll receive a recipe for a basic healing potion. Recipes for other potions can be found on scrolls in the overworld, high step, and your player house, or by completing quests. Once found, potions recipes are stored in your player journal. You can make a potion without uncovering its recipe, but it is generally easiest to craft when the recipe is right in front of you. Potions ingredients include plants, ore, and fish. You can harvest or catch these in different areas of the overworld. You can also trade ingredients with other players or buy them on the auction house. Simple potions such as a basic healing potion may only require a few ingredients and a few temperature changes. More complicated potions will require more and often rare ingredients. Once you have the recipe and the necessary ingredients, return to your player house. Open the chest next to the potions table to move ingredients onto the table. The table only holds 12 ingredients at a time, so you may need to shuffle items back and forth from your inventory to make different potions. Each slot in the chest lines up with a specific spot on the table, so you may also want to move ingredients around the table to keep them closer to the cauldron for easier brewing. When you are ready to begin, position your journal over the cauldron so you can easily see the recipe. Colors in the recipe correspond to different cauldron temperatures. You can find a color-coded guide to heat progression on the ceiling above the table. The cauldron always starts at blue, the coolest temperature, and resets back to blue with each new ingredient you add. Once you put an ingredient in, the cauldron will slowly cycle through the colored heat levels. Once you have added the final ingredient and let the potion reach the right temperature, pick up the bottle next to the cauldron and dip it in the potion to finish. A notification will appear telling you what you have brewed and the potion will be added to your inventory. If you brew the potion incorrectly, you will create a ruined potion and the ingredients that you used will be lost. Note that ingredients you put into the cauldron are used up as soon as you add them, so if you start a potion then leave your house, you will lose those ingredients. Aging potions increases their potency, as well as their market value on the auction house. The potions aging rack is located in the basement of your player house. To put potions on it, open the chest in front of the shelves and move them over from your inventory. Note that aging happens in real time, not game time, so your potions will continue to age once you have logged out. Each potion has its own aging timeline, so you'll need to experiment with different lengths to find the perfect timing for each. If you leave a potion on the rack for too long, it will overage and become ruined. If you move potions around in the chest, or remove a potion from the chest before the process has finished and then put it back in, the aging process will reset. To use a potion, equip it to either slot on your tool belt, then simply pick the bottle up and bring it to your face as if though you were drinking it.